welcome back to Food Travel Shopping Channel and you're watching Restaurant Remake. Today I am making a uh, classic dish but in a different approach. So this is my beef, liver and onions. Uh, instead of using milk, I will be using coconut milk. So this is a typical dish that you can find at a local diner or uh, some restaurant here. So. Um, but this is going to be my version of the beef liver and onions. If you have not yet subscribed to the Food Travel Shopping channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button right now and hit the bell notification for our latest video and update. All right, so let me show you how to prepare this dish. This is a very simple dish and some people are fearful of dealing with uh, organs, you know, the beef liver here. So let me show you a quick way to really clean it really well. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to make the Venezuelan beef liver and onions. So first of all, we have a pound and a half beef liver here. And what I just did is just uh, rinse it with water. Now, you can still see some um, blood, right, after rinsing. So we're going to further take one more step here. To really flush out all the blood here, we're going to use one teaspoon of baking soda. And then we're going to just get some water and go ahead and submerge the water, submerge the beef liver completely. All right, and you're just going to let this sit and put this on the side for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then let's just, you know, let it do its things and then it will really flush out all the blood inside the beef liver. Okay, we're gonna slice up our beef liver here. I right, just wanna cut it dry a little bit more. Okay, you will continue to have some blood water coming out after we rinsed it and soaked it for, uh, with the baking soda here. Okay, as we cut them, you're gonna have more liquids coming out. So I'm just slicing them. So you can decide if you want a thicker cut or if you want a um, skinnier cut. So if you go with the thinner cut, it's uh, easier to, and especially when you're uh, dealing with an um, internal organ, you really want to cook these through. All right, so you want to hold it really tight when you cut it because it is slimy. All right, it can move. So you wanna be careful. All right, so we're gonna marinate and I'm gonna show you what to put into the marinade here. All right, so to just marinate this a little bit, we're using uh, white pepper powder, half a teaspoon. And then just, if some people are afraid of, you know, like the, the taste of the liver, right? So use the watcher's sauce. One tablespoon here, and we're gonna do two tablespoons total, actually, to just marinate this. All right, so go ahead and just give this a good mix. And you just wanna marinate this for approximately 15 minutes here before you cook them. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of vegetable oil here. All right, preheat the pan first. All right, so now we can add in, once your pan is preheated, I'm gonna add in your garlic. All right, so you wanna saute the garlic a little bit. And we're gonna add in our, okay, you wanna saute the garlic a little bit. And then we're gonna add in our uh, beef liver here. All right, so spread out your beef liver here. All right, we're gonna season it with some black pepper. All right, so I'm gonna let this cook for two minutes on one side first. All right, so I'm gonna flip it to the other side. All right, so now I'm gonna season the other side here. 
All right, so you can see there's some blood still coming out of the liver. All right, so go ahead and flip it and keep cooking. All right, so I'm gonna cook it for another two minutes here. All right, try to get those blood water all out here. All right, so then I'm cooking about 80% done. All right, and then I'm gonna do my onions and then we're gonna do our sauce and we're gonna continue to put this back in and then we're gonna cook it down until where everything is completely cooked through. All right, so at this point, there's no more of these blood water coming out, so that's good. So we're gonna take it out. All right, so 80% done here. So I'm just gonna take this out. I'm using the same brazier here and we're gonna add in our butter. All right, go ahead and melt our butter here. All right, so once the butter is melted, I'm gonna add my, in my red onions. All right, just add a little bit of oil here, half a teaspoon, uh, half a tablespoon here. Okay, go ahead and add in your yellow onions as well. All right, so I'm gonna season with some salt here. About half a teaspoon for myself, but season it to your own taste. More black pepper adding in here at this point. All right, so keep stirring them. I'm just gonna add a little bit more oil here. All right, go ahead and add the flour in. All right, so we're gonna deglaze our pan here with our white wine. All right, go ahead and add in our coconut milk. Okay, bring it back to a simmer. I'm gonna do a little bit more black pepper here. All right, we're gonna add one tablespoon of soy sauce here for coloring and also for this um, saltiness level here. Okay, beside adding the salts. All right, so finally we're gonna add back in our beef liver. All right, we're gonna add one more tablespoon of the watcher sauce here. All right, we're now gonna close the lid and let that simmer for 10 minutes. You can lower the heat to medium. Okay, so after cooking for 10 minutes, all right. Now we're gonna add in our parsley. And if you want, you can thicken up the sauce here with a little cornstarch with water. And let's do that. So about one tablespoon of cornstarch. So we can thicken up the sauce by opening up the one tablespoon of cornstarch with water and now you can add it in. All right, so then you can serve it with over rice. Okay, finally chop off some parsley. And we can add this parsley in. All right, so we can turn off our heat. And we're ready to serve. Okay, so now we are going to plate our liver and onions here. Um, so this is not your traditional liver and onions because I use a coconut milk. You can definitely substitute it with uh, regular milk or cream. Uh, so then you would have a uh, different flavor here. Okay, so this one is gonna be flavored with coconut milk. So uh, you can definitely taste the coconut when you eat this. Okay, it smells really good right now. Okay, so let me just put a little bit more of the beef liver here and we'll clean up the plates on the side here. Let me just do one more. And that's, that's it. 
All right, so let's clean off our plate here. All right, so now I have plated my beef and my beef liver and onions here, and now I'm gonna taste it. All right, let's ooh, scoop an onion, some rice. So I got some um, long grain rice here. Mmm. So good. The onion flavor with the Worcester sauce, it's so rich. And then, then there's a hint of coconut milk. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video on the beef, liver, and onions here. Again, if you have not yet subscribed to our Food Travel Shopping channel, hit the subscribe button right now and hit the bell notification for our latest video and update. Feel free to share this video content with your friends and family. I'll be sure to check out our other videos on many cre recreation of restaurant remake food. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Restaurant Remake.